Yes, yes, you already know it's your guy, DJ FNI, and welcome to another episode of Is Up, Is Up, Is Up! What do you say? The Underground Come Up Show, and I'm Harriet Tuckman, cousin. You already know we carry them, and it's the Carriers, the Carriers Radio, you know what I'm talking about? Make sure you go to the ISC store and download our new app, it's the Carriers. Jim Carrey, what they call me. Hey, shout out to my OG Smurf, holding it down for DJ Jock today. Hey, hey, hey. We powered by ISC. Cash Studios, what's up? Whoa, whoa. And we're back. Welcome to another episode of Is Up. Is Up. Is Up. <laughs> they love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Before we get into this interview, you know what I'm saying? It's an exercise that we do. It's easy. You could do it right there from your couch, from your computer stand and all that. You know what I'm saying? To go comment, like, subscribe. You feel me? Comment, like, subscribe. It's easy. Just comment like and subscribe click the little notification bell you know what i'm saying down there leave a comment or something you know what i'm saying and keep updated man every time we upload something we're gonna send you a little notification that is up and it's stuck like you know what i'm saying why wouldn't you want to tap in with us for real are you an artist out there you want to get your music heard you want to get it played you want to get on stage well come to the carriers radio for your interview man you already know how we do man tap in the carriers radio at gmail dot com man you know what i'm saying log on um real quick some trending topics um the fourth of july was yesterday you know what i'm saying it was lit you know what i'm saying if you've seen the fireworks um i got a psa firework man y'all popped all the fireworks yesterday make sure all the fucking fireworks is popped because i'm not dealing with another summer full of all fireworks and shit that shit got on my nerves so, it's over. Talk about, um, Shikari Richards will not participate in the Olympics this year because she tested positive for marijuana. Really. That's a bad job, but we're going to fight that and we're going to get, um, Shikari to the Olympics. Talk about, um, Bill Cosby's been released. Welcome home, Bill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, Tyson's food recalls 8.5 million pounds of frozen chicken. Shout out to all the vegans. Um, music news that you could use. Soldier Boy says Steve Jobs gave him the first iPhone. We're going to do some research on that because I don't know. The next versus battle is going to be between Bobby Brown and Keith Sweat. Is up. You ain't gonna use that's a good join. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh also Beanie Siegel and Noriega. The Noriega and Beanie Siegel join, like that's on the way because they was talking about it. They they putting it in the work. So shout out to Swiss and Timberland for that, you know what I'm saying? But you know, that's in the works. That's gonna be a good join. Uh Nick Cannon brings his seventh child in the world. Hey, you know what I'm saying? He got it. And a new tour date for the Millennium Tour is on the way. After that, Soldier Boy and Bow Wow joined, it was up and it stuck. You know what I'm saying? They decided to do another uh, Millennium Tour. This weekend on July the 3rd, you know what I'm saying? We was reporting live from, uh, what was that? Raleigh North, Raleigh, North Carolina for the first annual Kicks Fest. You know what I'm saying? Me and a slew of DJs and a bunch of artists. Uh, Smoke Perp headline, Flip the Nero headline. PD Pablo even came out. It was Shalit Lit. You don't want to miss it. You can check out all the um this stuff on on my Instagram page, cause you know what I'm saying? We was there with popping. Enough about all that, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get into this interview. You know what I'm talking about start clever right now, start clever right now, start clever right now, start clever right now. For the host of the show that's going down right here, July 10th, that's on Saturday. You know what I'm saying? The thick Nubian goddess experience. That was the ambiance of it. The experience. Because it's going to be majestic. So, you know what I'm saying? Start clapping right now. Start clapping right now. Start clapping right now for my host, Jay Sharison Red Snapper. Hey. Oh. As long as I get. Oh, hey. How y'all doing? Oh, 
So what's up with y'all? How y'all doing? I just gotta make sure she's comfortable. Oh. How are you? I'm better now. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, just enjoying this weather. It's been on and off. So, I mean, you know, we gotta deal with it. It's the summer. What you expect? It's you definitely know? good weather we've been having. Yeah. A little hot, humid. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you, know, you know, you know. I mean, so, um, Tell the people a little bit about yourself, like, you know what I'm saying? What's your name? What you got going on? Oh, well, my name is uh, Red Snapper. I'm a comedian. I'm a hostess from Philadelphia. Um, I also have a talk show called uh, Chubby Chasers Live. And I also have another show going on. It's a special red carpet, the Red Snapper's Red Carpet Special Edition. Oh, shit. Um, You know, I'm just putting in the work. I'm just putting in the work, staying busy. Um, you know, and, and just staying blessed and staying Blessings. out the way. And I woke up this morning, shit. Right. I now, woke my up knee the day. probably didn't wake up with me <laughs> with these goddamn straps, but it's okay. I, I made it up here with one kneecap. Hallelujah. So, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Red. You know what I'm saying? So, how, how, like, where did you get the name from? Like, I was curious to how you got the name. Do Red. you want the truth or do you want the lie? Give us the lie and then the truth. <laughs> there is no lie. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell the truth even when I'm lying. Um, so really, all right, so Red Snapper is like a third alter ego. Way, way back in the day, I guess I'm going to tell my age a little bit. Way, way back in the day, I used to rap. Okay, okay. so I started off with, um, with uh, my name was Verbal Assassin. Oh. This was yonders of years ago. <laughs> and then I came up with Napoleon. Oh, shit. He was... Right, yeah, right. so... The way how you said it, how you wrote day. it, on Napoleon. <laughs> like, why you had to do... Right, right, why right. you had to do the neck in the tongue, Napoleon? It's the L. Because that's how I was, I was like, my name is Napoleon. But um, I did that for some years. I did the rap thing and, and all that stuff. So, I mean... So, one day I just was like, you know what? I'm a red bone... I could snap up, I could snap down, red snapper, and it fit it. And ever since then, like, everybody been, yeah, I've been on red snapper type time. Just red snapper, you know it fits. And, and what you got right there? Like, I'm curious. And what's, what's that? Oh, what you I'll, I bring the whip out. It don't matter where I'm at. It's oh. coming with me. Oh. Yeah. Are you afraid? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> oh, man. Don't. I mean. I was going. I was going to whoop your ass at them. Listen, I got a lot of ass whippings as a child. I'm traumatized. I don't oh, know. okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. You back there now? Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm. I'm yeah, listen, yeah, I was I'm, in arm reach. I was in danger zone. So I'm supposed to turn around to you now? No, we chilling. That's all. Uh, everything. Oh, okay. Look, just, I, I just don't want no smoke. You said. Oh, you, come on back. I'm, I promise I won't hit you. <laughs> come on, because I can't turn my neck and do this interview, dog. That's all good, man. We here. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So July 3rd, I meant July 3rd. That was yesterday. I'm talking about July 10th. <laughs> yes. we, what, what they gonna expect? Cause the people, they ready, man. The tickets been selling real good. I'm, and I mean, I, I don't know. I don't never tell. You just have to come to the show and get your tickets and see what it's about. I mean, um, the Thick Nubian Goddess experience. Um, I did the last show yeah, the last with our uh, sister. Crazy. And um, we really had a good time. We showed out. It's all about the vibes. And we, you know, we go off the crowd. And the main thing with me when I do shows or host, it's about having fun. Have fun and, and vibe with the crowd. Yes. And if, you gotta, if you're a host, then, you know, definitely vibe with the crowd. Whether you're a host or co host, it's important that the host and the um, co-host vibe together because they like to see that. Yeah. So, and we definitely gave them that the last show. Yeah, so. if y'all wasn't at the last show, y'all missed it. It was Shalit yeah, Lit. and um, <laughs> it it was amazing. It, it's definitely um, you got to be there. You just you just got to come because we're not telling too much. <laughs> you know, I might come through with one titty out. Who knows? Oh, man, get your tickets right now. You better. They out. You bringing a whip? Oh, I'm bringing more than some whips. 
I'm, 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 I'm bringing more than some whips. Yeah, so. July um, 10th, get your ticket. <laughs> it's going down. And, you know, shout out to her thick Nubian goddess. Like, she's really motivated. She focused. She got her second book coming out. That's awesome. Black Queen. Go ahead. Do your day. thing, okay? Because okay. Um, I read the first book, and now she got the second book, so that's awesome. Um, so I, I'm ready for the shits on Saturday. Like I said, I just got to put my kneecaps in the ice and the um, freezer and get ready. And um, for Saturday, who knows what I'm going to do? I mean, oh, what you going to do? Because last time, she was doing stuff to me. <laughs> Here. <laughs> I am the co-host, Jay Shari. And how you doing? Hi. What you was what you was doing? She said you was doing stuff. And well, can I introduce myself? First? Oh yeah. They... I am Jay Shari. I am Thick Nubian's goddess's manager, aka her little sister, aka her left hand because she right handed, aka please don't fuck with me. Oh shit. But uh, <laughs> red snapper like girls now because of me. Oh. I do. I guess I do. She do. I made her my girlfriend, so that's why. I, I got no choice. Yeah. That's news to me. But, Interesting. Um, <laughs> it's an experience. You have to, you got to be there. Like, can't even explain it. It's just a good vibe. It's fun. Shout out the voice. Shout out the little dollar bill. They'll be there. Shout out the, and uh, he's performing. Yes, so y'all yes. y'all got to get y'all tickets. Book two is coming, and it's a turn. It's a page turner. Like, you're going to read it in a day. Um. But, yes, it's going to be a great show. We got food. Get your VIP tickets. You get a book, get the cheers with the with the art with the author, thick Nubian goddess. Uh, it's a bar, so it'll be liquor. We have a little fun. It's also thick Nubian goddess's birthday. Hey! Yeah. So it's gonna be a whole celebration. It's, it's gonna a be celebration. a whole celebration. Yeah. Oh, man. oh, for sure. So um, tell them a little bit about yourself. Like you know what I'm saying, you got a lot of stuff going on. Oh well, yeah, I mean I manage. Thick Nubian Goddess. I also am a part of Night and Day. Shout out to Night and Day. Um, we have a couple of artists, like I named Little Dollar Bill. We have Voice. We have the R&B singer Voice. Little Dollar Bill, he's a comedian. And of course, Thick Nubian Goddess. Um, we working on having a couple of shows coming up and everything. So stay tuned for that. Um, right now, we're just promoting the second part to The Diary of a Former Sex Addict, which is Thick Nubian Goddess' next book. Um, and then we'll just be working from there. Hopefully more to, to come in the summertime. We're still working on things, so I don't have really any updates. Facts. So what's the hardest part about managing um, Portia Day and then managing Thick Nubian Goddess? Because I heard they was like, it's like. Are you going to make me talk on the little sister side? <laughs> Portia Day is fine. That's, she the oldest. So. <laughs> She, she the oldest when it come down to that. But as her manager, I can honestly say I manage her whole life. Like, Portia, pay your bills. Portia, do this. <laughs> Portia, do that. Thick newbie and goddess, I let her be herself. But when she's doing too much, I be like, aha, you got to chill. Or no, we not doing that. That ain't right. Because sometimes she, she be all over the place. And I got to make sure she in one, <laughs> in one sitting. But, um... They are two different people, but they're not. It's just her splitting into that. So, um, so what you think is the, um, well, I can't really ask you about the second book, but the first book, like, you know what I'm saying, like, we all, you know what I'm saying, got the first book. If you don't got the first book, make sure you go on Amazon, you know what I'm saying, and download that joint. If you do audio books, you know what I'm saying, you could buy that joint. Or you could call me and I'll get somebody to deliver it to you for you know what I'm saying. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But the um like how do you see the transition from the first to the second book? Like Oh, you gotta read it. Like I've read that book before it even came out and it was like <gasps> So it's like you gotta read it. Like the first book, how it ended, you be mad as shit. But once <laughs> you open that second book, you gonna be like, Oh my fucking god, yes. So it's like it's going to suck you right back in. It might make you go back to, to the, the first, first one and do some research. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. you're going to be like, oh, that or oh, like it's, it's that kind of book. Because at the end of the first book. I, don't give it I, away. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. You got to get it. It's on Amazon and we do make deliveries, but it is definitely a page. Shout out to Tiffany, man. She was, she was, 
Tiffany. That's that. Yeah. That's that one. <laughs> right. It's a good John. So, Rhea, how long you been doing comedy? Um, since I came out my mama's vagina. You just came out funny. I came out laughing instead of crying. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. I came out of a snapper, so I mean, shit. Oh, shit. And, my, and it's funny, because my mom is chocolate. She is chocolate, so I came out of a chocolate snapper. <laughs> so a red snapper. <laughs> no, I've been doing it for, um, I think, like six or seven years now. Maybe about six years, yeah. So, I mean, I've been having fun with it. And I don't just do stand-up comedy, which I made clear basically earlier. So that makes that's what makes me stand out. I host a variety of events, you know. So, uh, you know, I just like people. I'm a people's person, and I like to turn it up, whether it's comedy, whether it's somebody's birthday, whether it's a hip-hop show, whether it's an R&B show. Um, I even once did a Sweet 16. Oh, man. Not too long ago. <laughs> and I was like, now. You? I know. I was like, you sure? But I knew I could do it because I'm versatile like that. But but it was it was it was good though. It was so sweet. Beautiful, beautiful daughter. Um it was a really wonderful family type of um situation. I mean I was still messing with a few family members, you know me. But it was you know, more so it was censored. I mean Big I fence. wasn't Yeah, you wasn't Yeah. You wasn't, yeah. Yeah, I can I can snap up or snap down, you know? So I mean, I'm just blessed that people recognize and you know, I get hired to do different things that yeah. I enjoy. Right. So, so um when when uh who who's some of your favorite like comedians that that like influenced you like coming up and like wanted to do like comedy and stuff? Well, that's a funny story. Um because Growing up, I never wanted to really be a comedian or imagine that I would be a comedian. I was forced into the comedian world. Yeah, um, about six years ago, <laughs> um, from a good uh, from my from my good brother, um, comedian Top Flight. Shout out to Top Flight. Yes, I much love and respect to Top Flight. Um, prior to that, I used to host like open mics and stuff, and uh, you know, with my ex husband and everything like that. And that's when I was rapping and doing poetry. I never thought I was a comedian, but every time I host it, people thought that I was the comedian. I'm like, no, I ain't no comedian. I was, I was all against it. Like, no, I ain't no comedian. I rap. Oh, actually, back then I was like, I spit <laughs> and I do poetry. So, um, so one day he was having a show. And he was like, hey, sis, you know, I want you to, you know, get on the show. Do you know, do a couple minutes? I was like, uh. Um, I, I I never did that. I don't know how to make people laugh on purpose. Like I just, just I'm like, it. what do you talk about? I really had no idea, and I was scared. I mean, I'm telling you, Eminem scared. <laughs> but it was like once he put me on a flyer, and I never been like see myself on a flyer before. I was like, oh snap! Oh, like it's snap. going down. <laughs> I mean, I was nervous, but I went up there, I did my little three to five minutes, and I was out. Um, I didn't get no hecklers, I didn't get no crickets, so people did laugh. I mean, I just didn't, I really didn't know. I was encouraged to go up there and just talk about life. And that's what I did. I guess they found it funny. <laughs> so, I mean, it's all good. It's all good. I, I love the comedy community. And um, I love what I do, and I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep striving. I see something good for my future. I really, really do. Something simply amazing. And, you know, you got to, one thing about me, I believe in the law of attraction. You have to speak it into existence. Facts. You have to. Regardless of where you at or what role you play, wherever you, where you at in your career or whatever, you just have to speak it into existence and believe in it, I'm telling you. And, and just and pray about it, of course. Facts. Yeah, I'm telling you. So big facts. So some of the people that influenced you, like you know what I'm saying, like coming up and like I know, I, I forgot to answer that. Okay. I had to bring it back. You know, I know I, 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 it's, I, all, it's all I good. Gotta you know, that's the whole story. Just, listen, I'm, I'm trying to give you the interview. I mean I mean listen, know? I'm listen, I'm at work. I'm here for it. Like, um <laughs> So of course growing up, of course Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, um, we got um oh god, there's so many Red Fox, 
That's way back. Yeah, um, I know Red Fox. <laughs> I used to, I even, well, I guess it was going to be, a Benny, was it Benny Hill? I wasn't allowed to really watch him. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. This is another one. What did I say, Eddie Murphy? Um, of course, uh, uh, what is it? Um, Bernie Mac. And um, I was about, you know what? I love Robert Townsend, too. He made some good movies, too. He's funny. And um, was it is it Robin Harris? No, no, no. Did I get the name wrong? Baby kids, baby kids. Is it? Yeah. And rest in peace to Paul Mooney. Oh man. Oh rest man, I only want to go down. It's a it's a list of uh, great comedians that we lost in our community the past couple years. Um, Char uh, Charlie Mack. Was it Char no Charlie Murphy? Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy. Sorry, um, it's so many, but I'm not gonna go deep down in there. But I'm telling you, like, and of course, uh, yeah, I, mean, I see where your roots come from and shit. I seen your comedy. Is this? I don't even, yo. I don't <laughs> even. Some sometimes I just freestyle it because I mean, sometimes stuff don't never come out how you would imagine it. And I just like I said, I flow and I rock with the crowd. With the crowd. Is that the yeah, best way to and, do it? And, yeah. Yeah. If you can communicate to that one person and you know they 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 showing you love, maybe two or three. They showing you love, stay with them. I learned that from what uh, Malcolm Hill. He's that shout well, out shout to Malcolm out to Hill. Malcolm Hill, man. Malcolm Hill is my comedy brother. Um he showed me so much love. Oh, hey, and best um friend. Yeah, man. It's, it's a lot of them out here. There's a lot of them out here that I can um shout out. Right now, my brain is a little bedazzled. I had a few events that I attended recently so snap snap trying to get it together I'm telling you I'm trying to get it together but I know Saturday y'all better be ready because I'm poking it all out oh man <laughs> oh see now 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 y'all heard this right now then the last time what she, she say no the last show I was scared to go to the bathroom no, I'm not playing. You're scared to go to the bathroom. Yeah, cause uh, oh, that's what they get I'm you. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, cause I I gotta walk past the bathroom on my way out. And I, <laughs> no, but we, the we last had show fun. was wild. Yeah, y'all definitely gotta we, pop off. We had out. fun. I mean, I, if my knees wasn't fucked up, I would have been on the floor. <laughs> Doing a spin around, I would have spread all this shit, and I, I would have climbed up the, I would have did some shit. But you never know. I've been exercising once a week, so I'm, um, I'm ready. Kind of it's like <laughs> this fucking decap ain't no joke, dog. You gonna put some Bengay on it? You. You know what I'm saying we going No, I'm gonna call it a little fixing. Uh, it's gonna get fixed up. Ain't nothing but a little bit of straightening. Hey, listen. And look, and, and the first time I met you, we clicked. You were so hilarious yourself. Oh, man. Thanks. You was trying to challenge all that. Like, come on, dog. I told you. Listen. You got to get your weight up. Listen. My up. No, baby, 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 baby. I did 14 push ups this morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen. 14. Yeah. yeah. No, not as. Ready, no. Eddie. You see how. But look, maybe one day. You need like so, a few more ice cream seasons, and then you might be ready for the snapper. I sent you because she gonna chew you up. I know, I know. I sent you, I sent oh, you a picture of what happens to red snapper. Right? I know. Oh yeah, we ain't gonna. I know. Wait, what? Okay, so one day, <laughs> one day this young man, this young see he he got Twitter fingers, oh, so he sent me a picture oh. of a uh, of a giant ass red snapper fish. With a big bite missing. <laughs> but that's that Twitter finger shit. Follow we gonna, me on we Twitter, see, man. We, wait a minute. We're going to see what, what that life about come Saturday, July 10th. This Saturday. At the Thick Nubian Goddess Experience. I'm here. We having a fish fry. <laughs> Flat out. <laughs> wow. That was a good one. Yo, that was good. High five. <laughs> Yo, that was tough. Ooh. Oh, so y'all already know. Y'all already know. It's up in the sky. Yeah, because I'm a fish with, I ain't got no hook, so let's go. You got the hook? And I'm off the hook. So y'all oh, saying, Jay okay. Sharif. 
<laughs> how was it setting up this event and like you know what I'm saying the preparation for it and all that? Like I know you tired, you've been running around and With this one, uh, the last one, it was made mostly me. So um, I don't like stuff like this, honestly. <laughs> like I never would have thought I would co-host anything. I wanted to be a behind-the-scenes manager, but being thick newbie and goddess manager, there is no behind-the-scenes. Every manager think they're going to be behind the scenes yeah. until it's time for the scene. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. shout out to my manager Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> He behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm honestly not used to this kind of attention at all. Like, this is not me. But because I support my artists by any means, I'm going to make sure Amen. we out there, we get in the bag, we doing whatever we need to do. We putting people on, supporting people, people supporting us. So this is out of my character, but I'm, I'm in it because this is what I signed up for. So it, it, well, not I nothing. character was different last time. Um, okay. He's out of character. <laughs> That's my true self that I keep in the house, but it had 10 that came out that day. It's something about them big. It's okay. Oh, it's but, uh, <laughs> but no, honestly, it's been fun setting up, getting shows together and planning. It's been fun. Like, I get to meet new people. I'm communicating more because I don't like communicating with nobody. But, she only um, communicated with me in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's it's an experience. It's something that I had to get used to, and I'm getting used to it. I'm still like, eh, but it is what it is. At the end of the day, I'm gonna make sure we all get a bag. So facts, and that's what it's about. Everybody, you know, helping to elevate to the top. Um, Saturday is gonna be lit. Most importantly, who gonna be? Chefing up that uh, oh, that food. Let's talk about some of the vendors and the people so that's gonna be a part of this. Shout out the Fat Daddies. They'll be um vending. If you get a VIP ticket, you shout your out plate the Fat Daddies. Is included. We have a Rasta pasta. Rasta rice, pasta. Oh, yeah, I'm sold. Chicken, fat Daddies. Salmon. You name it, we I, got it. I can't wait. We going to have the Henny, the Duce. I might pull out the white Henny. I just came from Mexico. I might oh, surprise man. y'all with that bottle. Um, so the bar gonna be nice. Uh, we got some nice delectables, some treats and stuff. We got some edibles, if you into that. Uh, so it's going to be a whole vibe. Shout out to all the vendors that's going to be there and all the performers. I'm excited. Can't wait. It's toys. I might bring a couple of them things. Toys? <laughs> like, I mean, like KB or like... <laughs> she talking about like lube and vibrators and bunnies and oh. chains and whips and bondage tape and all that stuff. You don't like bondage? All this, y'all talk about for the show on Saturday? You might be tied up in a chair. We never know how it's going to go. Toys and chairs and top. And this, this a, a. It's a thick new band goddess experience. It's going to be moist. It's always moist, but always. It just happens that shit, way. I'm about to buy another ticket just to watch because shit, I'm performing and shit. I don't want to miss nothing and shit. Y'all talk, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know about all that. <laughs> yeah, he's performing. Like, what, what? You got something new? Or are you going to do my 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 song? I'm gonna do your song, you know what I'm saying? But it's the thick new being got its experience. So like, I got a couple of songs that's with the whole vibe that I pulled out. Like, I got some party songs and I'll be in the club. You know what I'm saying? Your favorite's DJ. You know what I'm saying? And all that. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't turning up like that. We going, we going oh, to take it to, we going to take it to the Scorpio side. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He trying to sting, he trying to sting everybody. You know what I'm saying? But when you messing with a bull, it's kind of, you know. Bullshit. Um, <laughs> you know what bulls do to, to them Scorpios? What they do? You know how big a bull is, right? Bullshit. Let me crush you. Stop fucking playing with me. I'm saying you can't crush this. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Y'all can't crush this hard exterior. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the the scorpion like has a shell. Like you know what I'm saying around the body. You know what I'm saying? So it's like y'all all got soft spots. We just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, we gonna continue this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> July the tenth because it's a yeah. It's but space right, right there. Well, say that then. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Smurf, you want to play some music? You want to say? <laughs> DJ, wait, wait, let me see. DJ 
DJ Smurf, we good. We good over there, right? Oh, uh, okay. You good? No, you good? Oh, uh, well, all right, because, I mean. <laughs> July 10th. Oh, it's going to snap. Oh, man. I, she I, make it snap, snap, snap. She make yeah. it snap, snap, snap. I, I guess all the freaky diggy signs is going to be in the building, okay? The crab. The crab. <laughs> It's definitely yeah. cancer season, so yeah. shout out to cancers. You know what I'm saying? They in the building, you know? Yeah, so um, you ready to get this ass whooping or no? For sure. Um, With that said. No, I want to <laughs> beat the DJ. Oh, no, I'm going to beat you after the show. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just want to lie. Oh, shit. <laughs> so any shout outs, anything y'all need to kick, any plugs y'all need to plug in before we get out of here? Um... Yeah, I just want to um, say shout out to everyone that support me, that love me, that really, really want to see me win. I mean, that for real, because, you know, you know, you got some people that, you know, act like it, but they not about it. God has blessed people in my presence, in my circle. Shout out to Tommy. Shout out to um, a lot of people. I can go down the list, but I'm not going to take it too long but you know who you are and support my support team it's not about just coming to my shows some people support me they get tickets some people support me with a um what they call like a daily bread in the mornings you know a, a good yeah daily inspiration um you know or you know just showing genuine love so shout out to those people um and um big shout out to my son fazir that son, is my, son. Yes. My son Fazir, he really um he really yes, that's that's my rider. He's a really good um young man. I was about to say kid, but he is 17. And um, you know, and of course, out of all people, God, he woke me up this morning. Yes, I woke up He today. woke me up this morning and he's given me the strength to continue to do what I do. Now, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, um, Pornhub at Red. I mean, you can find me on Instagram at Red, <laughs> uh, at Red Snapper, and that's um, three R's at the end. Uh, my Facebook is um, Red Snapper Comedy Wave. is a page. Link into that. I got some stuff coming up, and um, you just gotta um, click on my milkshake. The um, the uh, <laughs> the link is in all my all my accounts all over the milkshake. It's going to update you on all the events that's um, coming up, you know. And shout out to my draws. Yeah, my draws. If it wasn't for my draws, a lot of people be on Skid Row. <laughs> yeah. So hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your, what's your porn hub again? What's the <laughs> Shout out to my team, Night and Day. Shout out to my artist, Lil Dollar Bill, Thick Nubian Goddess, and Voice. Shout out to Anna. Yes, yes. And the carriers, because they always carrying it. It's the carriers. Shout out to Red Snapper. This will be my second time co-hosting with her, and it's an experience. It's a vibe. Um, <laughs> shout out to my daughter, Jay Shari. It's my baby. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at J Shari, is C-H-E-R-I-E. On, um, 0506 on Instagram. I'm not on Facebook, so you'll find me there. Um, and I just thank everybody who support us. Y'all show love. We show love back. And, sh right. and shout out to Portia Day. You know what I'm saying? The book is coming out July 10th at the Thick Nubian Goddess Experience. It's going to be shalit lit. You don't want to miss it. And it's her birthday so give it up for her and we're gonna sing happy birthday we will get out of here like this happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear thick nubian goddess <laughs> happy birthday to you <laughs> Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Go 
I see y'all July the 10th. You know what I'm saying? We out of here. Man is up and it's stuck. Straight like that. Let's go. Hey. This up was brought to you in part by Cast Studios ISC. And Cast, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We in the building, man. Make sure y'all tap in and download our app, The Carriers, at the ISC store. And while you at the ISC store, make sure you download the Thick Nubian Goddess app, too. You know what I'm saying? You, it's, you got to pay for that. Hey, hey, let's go. Let's, July 10th. Shout out to Go to Films. Hey, hey.